What's up, y'all, man? Thanks for watching another episode of Live to Drive. It's your boy, K, And today, I got a very special car for y'all today. As y'all can see behind me, boom. We got the Alfa Romero, man. This is the Alfa Romero car of the year. The Crajo Folio rear-wheel drive, of course. 505 horsepower, 2.9 liter twin turbo. Let's check it out, man. So right now, we're about to get up under the hood. Actually, let's go over the exterior features. As y'all can see, the front interior, I mean the front exterior is mean, man. Look at that. Check that out. Mean right there. Here's the front of the car. Looks pretty sweet. As you can see at the bottom, you get the two sensors at the bottom. You have a lot of vents here. They're all functional. You look down here to the radiator, keep it cool. Nice detail on the headlights. As you can see right here. Right, right, right. right look at that. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> look how mean this boy look. Come on, man. This color right here is volcano black. Of course, we got the red car, uh, got the red calipers on there. Look at the freaking rotor on this thing, bro. That's how you know it fast. It's got drilled in holes in it so it can keep it, keep the brakes cool. It's you hitting that top speed. You feel me? Got the clover leaf on there. One of my favorite parts. Got the rear spoiler, which is carbon fiber. Look at that bad boy. Volcano Black is the name of this, right? And then they offset it with the black and red interior. Check this out, man. Black and red interior. Of course, you got the red pretty much center face right there. Then you got the carbon fiber right here on top of that. Then at the very top, you got the black leather with the red stitching going across. And the red stitching goes across all over the car as you can see is over there on the door panel as well then you get so let's go ahead and hop in the interior man check this out all right you guys so now that we in the interior let's check this boy out so in the interior as you can see has the bucket seats the strong bucket seats i'm sitting in them right now it's pretty it's pretty it's a good feeling it's, it fits you it fits you right so the bucket seats you got the black leather with the red leather, red leather stitching Alcantara going down the middle of the seat it might look like suede but it's Alcantara then of course you got the Alfa Romero embroidered into the seat with the red stitching around that you got your Alfa Romero badge right there as soon as you open the door you got the carbon fiber skirt at the bottom it's pretty sweet man Look at that interior, real killer. Pretty sweet. Now, some sweet features. You do have memory seats right here. And then you also get to adjust this part of your seat. So you can pull it out and push it in, too. Pretty sweet. Then you have this sweet center console area. This is all carbon fiber around the gear shift and the knobs, even going into your ashtray. Let's cut the lights on so we can see. Oh, shit. Okay, so now that the light's on, you can see all the carbon fiber. This is your at the cup holder area. Just press that and it comes back out. You could put, um, you could charge your phone. You could put your charger in there. That's where they have all the AC functions, heat functions. You got heated steering wheel, you have heated seats. This is where you control the airflow. You got the big screen up there. I think this is a uh, seven inch screen, I believe. It's pretty sweet, man. Then the instrument cluster is a killer, dude. Look at this, bro. 
you got your 200 miles per hour on your right hand side which is 330 kilometers you got that per hour on the right hand side and on the left hand side of course you have your rev limiter over there and then right there in the corner you have the temperature gauge and then right there in the middle it displays all your functions going down to the steering wheel sorry about the glare of course you got the engine stop start button right here on the right hand side you got your cruise control function for the left hand side you have your cruise control functions on the right hand side you can control the radio up and down skip features and the phone features as well and the best part the middle part man and what's sweet about the steering wheel it actually feels pretty good that glare is getting in the way it actually feels pretty good I love the paddle shifters on the back of it right here and the reason I love the paddle shifters is because for one they're not connected into the steering wheel so once you're turning they're forever going to be there they're not going to move with the steering wheel while you're turning so that's great and then this steering wheel is a mixture of leather um, carbon fiber and Alcantara so you got the Alcantara up top coming down into the leather where you can rest your thumb uh, your thumb if you in like the racing driver position and then you got the red leather extension going all the way around and then at the bottom you have the leather on on top of the um, with the carbon fiber on top of it it's pretty nice man and then let's see how you cut these interior lights on Well, I don't know if you guys can see, but you have a sweet black and red combination. The red leather stitching is really going all the way around the vehicle. Then you got this soft touch armrest here on the door. You have red here. This model actually has the Harman Kardon speaker system. Bam, right there. And then you have carbon fiber all the way around the door trim as well. And then watch this. It gives you that hard door closing sound. And that's what you want from a very expensive car like this. And then it just goes all the way around. It has the red uh, dashboard, the carbon fiber, the black up top with the red leather stitching. It has the um, big 7 inch screen, I believe it is. And the dials down here. So, menu. Just go into the menu here. You use this one to control the functions. Then you have uh, you can dampen the suspension. So once you put it in D, once you put it in D, this pops up. So I guess that's like for dramatic or whatever. You're in race mode. Once you put it in N, this pops up. So I, it's like kind of a neutral. You're just cruising comfort mode. And then you put it in A. Is you're saving fuel right and then of course you have of course you have a race mode as well okay and then you know park reverse drive you can switch it over into the uh, manual triptronic position so yeah let's hop in the back and check out this back seat all right this is the back seat area same on the door of course you got the carbon fiber so Alcantara black leather with the red leather extension and then the sweet vents down there as you got them in the front so back's not that bad all right you guys so this is the v6 the ultimate v6 and the alfa romero quadrofolio so this is a 2.9 liter right 505 horsepower you get about 17 in the city on the miles per gallon and 24 on the highway. So for average, you get about 20 miles per gallon on average. But this is the, the motor, man. Twin turbo motor. Car of the year, baby. Some other sweet things about it, man. Look, carbon fiber everywhere. Look, all under the hood, carbon fiber. Look at the intake, man. Come on, man. 
twin turbo V6, 505 horsepower. It's a killer. You see the air vents, of course they're functional. Of course. So if you're looking for one of these cars, man, you can easily grab one <laughs> for about $81,000, bro. 71, that's pretty much the base 81 that's kind of fully, fully loaded with everything that you want. That's with this one. This one got a lot of stuff on it, all the carbon fiber, all the bells and whistles, so it comes up to about $81,000, which is not bad for the car of the year. 505 horsepower, 2.9 V6 twin turbo. You feel me? So check it out, Alfa Romero, dude. Alfa Romero, dude. Now, actually, I'm about to try to start it up for you guys so you can get an exhaust note. This is the red one, but you hear the exhaust, you get the, you see the duels, you see the duels. Different color, same exhaust though, not that bad. But that's the video for you guys today, man. Thanks for watching, man. If you like this video, push that like button, always subscribe, leave a comment down below. And I'm low-key about to be bringing y'all a lot of crispy material, so subscribe to your boy. I'm going to see you next video. I'm out.